This story is called B and Me by Allison J. And this one's special because it doesn't have any words. And it's okay because when we read books and we don't know how to read words, we can read the pages, which means look at the pictures and try to figure out what's going on. Here we go. B and Me. Now on this first page, I can see that it's a city with lots of cars and there's a train going through the middle of the city and lots of different things that go in the sky. Airplanes and helicopters. And on this next page, I see a bee flew into this window. Here. A bee, she says. She looks startled. She drops her book. I don't think she likes bees. She runs out. Looks like she's holding something in her hand. <gasps> don't squish me. She finds a cup and puts him under the cup. Oh no, he seems like it's, he's getting sick. She reads up on bees. She notices that the bees like sugar and water. And she gives it to him. Hmm, <laughs> that bee seems to like that. He gets better and she lets him go back out the window. Oh no, but it starts to rain on this page. Oh dear, she's looking out the window. I wonder if the bee is okay. Hmm, I think she's starting to like bees. On this page, the bee is back and he is soaking wet. Oh no, drink some more sugar water, bee. And let's dry you off. She's got a blow dryer and a teeny tiny toothbrush. All better. More sugar water. And she's reading more about bees. I think she's starting to like them more and more. Oh, wow, lots of things going on on this page. They play checkers. More sugar water. She plays some music. More sugar water. They go running and she pushes him in a carriage. Oh my, he's getting taller and bigger and bigger and taller. They dance. They go to the park on the slide. They go bike riding. Did you notice how big this bee is getting? Look how small he was when he started. He's very tall here. That bee is getting big. Hmm, what's happening on this page? It looks like they're visiting a store. Flower store? Oh no, on this page, the bee looks sad. And there's a thought bubble. I think he's thinking about where he used to live in a garden with beautiful flowers. I miss my garden. They're looking at a map. Can you tell what they're planning? Maybe they're gonna go visit the garden. Yep, that's exactly right. She jumps on the bee's back. Wow, that's a big bee. They fly out the window. Off they go. Can you tell where they're going? There's the city. And this looks like the country. Not a lot of tall buildings here. Not as many cars. I see animals. <gasps> They found their meadow. Hmm, they're holding bags. They must be collecting all these beautiful flowers. I guess there's not a lot of beautiful flowers in the city. Then they're off. As they fly over the city, what are they doing? Oh, they're dropping flowers all over the city. What a wonderful idea. They get back home and they fly inside the window. They must have planted some seeds because I see them watering this flower box. Oh no, she's sad. Give a hug. <gasps> bye bye, bee. I'll see you soon. And the bee flies away. This page is sad. 
Oh, on this page I see different seasons. Looks like it's snowing here. It must be winter because I can see a snow bee? Huh. And what season is this? It's rainy? A little chilly and windy? Must be spring. Oh, what season is this? Looks like it's warm out, the sun is shining, the plants are growing. Must be summer. Winter, spring, summer. <gasps> How beautiful. Remember all the seeds and flowers they sprinkled all over the city? Look. Now there's a meadow on top of the buildings, around the streets and sidewalks. And what's happening? Butterflies are coming? And the bee, the bee came back. And look, he is a she. She's wearing a crown on her head. She must be the queen bee. Now they're happy and back together again. What a beautiful story. Bee and me. Now, this last page says, be aware. All over the world, when bees fly from flower to flower, they help plants to grow. Without bees, it's hard to grow food or flowers. As cities get bigger, there are fewer flowers in the world and fewer bees. You can help by planting flowers. The good news is that bees love the most colorful and best smelling flowers. And they don't, they don't have to be expensive plants. Bees love weeds too. B and B and me.